Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry, Chemistry of Molecules. So today we are going to learn about trichloroacetic acid or CF3 syllable H. Its preparation mainly. Actually, you have previously heard many or have seen many questions about the acidity of trichloroacetic acid. So why this molecule is unique and how this is prepared. So you'll learn a lot of interesting chemistry. By the way, I want to mention that the preparation of this is not conventional. So please watch the video carefully and learn the unique concept because the whole chemistry of fluorine is completely different compared to others. So let's start. See, the uniqueness of this thing compared to simple acetic acid. Simple acetic acid is because presence of this three fluorine. And we know that fluorine is the most electronegative atom. So its Pauling scale it is the highest. So it withdraws the electron density towards itself. Consequently, this carbon became delta positive and it also withdraws the itself. That's why when acetic acid pK near about 4.7, its pK near about 0.5. Just see the differences. Okay. And it is said that the CF3 group's withdrawal cap capability is in between fluorine and chlorine. So from this you can understand how much withdrawing it is. And not only that, we know halogens have both minus I and plus R because of these three lone pair present on them and but minus i dominates but in this case of cf3 it is only minus i works and it is actually a sigma withdrawing okay so this is the uniqueness of this group so that's why this is acidic now question how this is prepared since it's a very unique molecule the question will appear how it could be synthesized from precursors so there are three methods i'm going to discuss today first first is from tall so, in if you take toluene and if you do radical chlorination, for example, chlorine H nu, okay. So, any excess, excess chlorine if you take, then it will result in trihalo species C C L three. By the way, student, I want to mention that instead of this H nu, if you take any Lewis acid like iron three plus or aluminium three plus, this the chlorination will happen on the CH means SP2CH. Please remember this difference. Okay. Radical condition always results in benzyl halide substitution. Means this benzyl C substitution. Next step, what happens? Next step, if you react this with anhydrous HF. Anhydrous HF under uh, temperature and relatively high temperature about 150 and pressure, what it results? It results in CF3 plus 3HCl. Now question, why this is unique? For this purpose you need to understand the nucleophilicity of F- in anhydrous condition. It is the highest compared to other halogens. So it attacks and chlorine leaves. It attacks and chlorine leaves in 3HCl. And another important information that the boiling point of HF is maximum compared to other halogen acid like HCl. So consequently this is actually a gas molecule and See, as I told that this temperature and pressure needed for the reaction and that is maintained by taking this chemical, taking this HCl out of the system. Okay, in this way the condition is maintained and another thing if you look that HCl is a product. If you take the product outside of the reaction, make sure the reaction will prefer to forward or prefer to go towards the right side. So that is the advantage of this process and I have already discussed this HCl boiling point lesser compared to HF previously. So from here we got this CF3. Now what is the next? We wanted to have CF3 CWH. Now in this case strong oxidation like KMnO4 dichromate those things and if this results CF3 CWH. Now you will say really sir because if you oxidize this thing similar fashion what you will get? You will get benzoic acid. This is a very common thing side chain oxidation of aromatic co compound result benzoic acid. So in this case, this is how trifluorastic acid. Even if you hydrolyze this thing in, in using alkali, you will also get benzoic acid salt and later acidification you get benzoic acid. But in this case, why CF3? That is the uniqueness of this carbon fluorine bond. See, fluorine and carbon both are 2p, 2p, so overlap is very good. Second, fluorine is the most electronegative atom. So that's why this bond is covalent, but the Covalent polar but very strong bond. Okay, so this very strong bond results 
very strong bond results not rupture of cf actually in this case see ccl rupture that's why you got carbon carboxylic acid in this case ch rupture that's why you got carboxylic acid but in this case in ccf cf doesn't rupture that's why it produces this uh, fluorine carboxylic acid now the question what is the proof of this concept as i told such kind of aromatic ring oxidation see if you do the oxidation of naphthalene using vanadium pentoxide oxygen then uh, or strong an uh, oxidizing acid like nitric acid then what it produces it produces phthalic acid so aromatic ring rupture to produce carboxylic acid already example here so this is the overall discussion how this is prepared from ccl3 by selective substitution now trifluoroacetic acid preparation from this now how what is the product of this reaction now you will say that sir how this is happen chlorine replaced and uh, fluorine ch3 what is this so let's run this step wise hf we know first is it's an acid so double addition of hf to the double bond possible so first h plus addition now where this h plus will add h plus will add that position where carbocation is more stable so it adds and it produces ch3 now this is a cl2 sorry this is a cl cl now you can say that sir chlorine is attached to this carbon and why positive charge is here remember one thing halogens are orth para orienting but withdrawing because this chlorine have lone pair so i know they are withdrawing but they can stabilize the intermediate by donating its lone pair means this way ch3 c cl plus and another thing here cl Now let's say that chlorine is carrying positive charge. It's a resonance stabilization, and in this way every atom is octet field. That's why it will happen, and this is the stabilization of reactive intermediate, not overall. Fine. So this is reactive thing. In next step, what happens? This H plus along with this H plus there is a F minus. So this F minus will attack, and ultimately what it will result? It will result CH three C Cl Cl and F. And remember, in the reaction medium, additional two equivalent of H F they have previously have discussed this substitution reaction possible. So ultimately, after again two H F reaction, sorry, this will produce after this two molecule H F reaction, it will produce this. Now understood. In the next step, so oxidation, we know that if we oxidize this C H oxidizes just some time before we have explained in case of. but oxidation possible but that is only possible student for aromatic nucleus actually this reaction doesn't produce this oxidation using vanadium pentoxide and oxygen oxygen if you do it will not occur so for that purpose what they do they do electricity they they provide electricity means high voltage and what they get they gets this ch oxidation into corresponding this this method is actually a very unique it is electrofluorination means in presence of electricity or voltage and actually this requires high voltage generally for this ca okay i'll come so first stage what in after high voltage what they prepare cf3 coo let's come everything straight points so what happens at first at first this ccl bond breaks because we know the ccl bond is the weakest one so it produces ch3 c double bond o f plus hcl and hcl could be withdrawn because it's gaseous and here anhydrous hf is taken no water is there so it's gaseous and boiling point of this hf is greater than this is it fine next step what happened next step this high voltage thing is applied and what happened in case of high voltage it is observed that near about 5 to 6 volt student it's a very high voltage and remember if you have any water present in this medium above 1.23 volt this oxidation what of water happens actually this doesn't happen happened above 1.23 volt this is the thermodynamic potent value but some extra needed for the kinetic so you may consider within 2 volt potential water will so we need anhydrous otherwise you can't do the reaction fine and now see what happens in high voltage this ch bond get oxidizes and what happens this fluorine because i have taken 4 hf so 1 h sorry this is hf so i have taken 4 hf so 1 equivalent consume so how many equivalent left 3 equivalent so 3 hf 
So in this way, what it will result? See, there are three hydrogens. So these three will be replaced. So what it will result? This CF3, COOF. Now we wanted this CF3, COOH. Okay, so how this could be done? Simple hydrolysis. Okay, simple hydrolysis. And by the way, just as you know, in somehow if you get water in the reaction medium, by somehow, then you can handle this by addition of CF3CO2O because it is a means this is actually trifluoroacetic acid, it's a trifluoroacetic anhydride. So it will consume the water and self converted into trifluoroacetic acid, and in reaction medium, only pure trifluoroacetic acid will remain. Okay, now a simple question may come that sir, you are giving this much drastic condition. Is it possible that it can undergo decarboxylation and produce this CF3 minus? Because we know that fluorine is a very high electron withdrawing group, so it can withdraw the it can stabilize the minus charge on this carbon. Like you must consider this way this fluorine, 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 and this is the negative charge on sp3 carbon. Okay. Now, because in this way it is produced, this is sp3 center. Now, actually, this is not. Fluorine is electron withdrawing, but there is a severe repulsion between the lone pair of fluorine atom and this lone pair produced by this carbon. And actually, you can observe the pKa, the pKa of fluoroform is less compared to the pKa of chloroform. You will be surprised, sir, why this? Because we know chlorine is less electronegative, fluorine is more. Remember, the stabilization of the conjugate base means the carbon is important. That's why it is near about, this is near about 15, this is near about 25. Okay, so this is another, so that's why I can say that this is not that much stable student. So decarboxylation to produce this probability is less. Second thing, whenever we do any reaction, we optimize reaction condition such a way that our target product we get. Theory it means a reaction could be done in many, many conditions and changing condition we can get the completely different product. But that is the challenge for chemist or scientist you rather say that how to get the target product with maximum yield and minimum impurity. So that is our challenge and that's why billions of dollars are spent to in on the research of chemistry. Okay, so this is the end of this discussion.